spite of projections or protections against disability discrimination, people with physical or mental impairment often face challenges when looking for a job. Ron Hilliard joins us now in the control room with more on a program that's helping some people with job placement. Ron. Sean, those workers are getting trained as well as getting jobs in a ver variety of fields like customer service and janitorial services as well. Ikenna Davis is beating the odds. For him, landing two janitorial jobs means a clean living. Get a chance to work and stuff. But there's nothing out there on the streets. Davis is one of more than 40 adults with disability who have secured jobs over the past year through the Barber National Institute Supported Employment Program. It's been huge and it's very gratifying not only for for them but for me as well because they're they're very interested in showing up to work on a daily basis and doing a good job and Grapevine Laundry and Linens owner Mary Beth Gremmel says the program is a win-win. From my perspective, you know, it's a common problem for any small business these days is finding good help. Since 1986, the Supported Employment Program has connected more than 700 adults with disabilities with jobs. We work with each person individually one-on-one -on -one, to see what needs they have, support them in obtaining the job, and then, you know, teaching them, help coaching them through learning the tasks until they can become independent. And all that job coaching is paying off. It feels good, really. So I'd just like to share some numbers with you. According to the Department of Labor, in September, the national rate for unemployment for people with disabilities was over 7%, and that's more than twice the number for the people that are without disability. Sean? Yeah, so you see the need for a program like this. That's right, and the people are just really happy to be able to do something that sort of gives them a sense of independence, they say. Uh, Ron Hilliard reporting in the control room. Thanks, Ron.